What's up everybody? Welcome back to FNG Academy. I just had a quick announcement. I'm proud to say that we've been helping people get selected for three years now. I've been getting a lot of messages about uh, people thanking us and saying that they just graduated from uh, selection and they got selected. Uh, people graduating the Q course. Uh, one of my buddies just sent me a video uh, from the Charlie committee. Yes. If you guys have ever heard of the FNG Academy, raise your hands and all their hands went up and it just filled me with pride. Um, so part of the way that we do that is making sure that you guys are physically fit and ready for selection. And the way we've been doing that for the past couple years is by sending you to a Green Beret we know and trust, Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. So if you want to get selected, you need to be in the best shape possible and you need a programmer who knows what they're talking about. So go check out Kevin over at 18 Alpha Fitness. Use code word BUCK to get a discount. Tell him we sent you and hook you up. Congrats to everyone who's been getting selected lately and we'll see you guys on the next one. What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Beers and Breakdowns. In this episode, we're doing a... <laughs> a crazy <laughs> movie. Dude, I don't even know how to describe that movie. That went so left and then left and then left this again. This movie was, it was an emotional roller coaster. Like we started it and I was like, oh, this is badass. And then we'll get into some things that happened and you're like, wait a second. And Dude. the next thing you know, it's just completely off the rails. Off the rails, off the charts. But at the same time, the whole time you're like, do I absolutely love this? Right. Like, yeah, kinda. <laughs> it's, it's the only thing we compare it to is like Fast and Furious, how ridiculous that gets. But instead of the course of 10 movies, it all happens in one movie. All right, so let's jump into Sisu. 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 Temple to temple, bro, just jump. Ooh. Love how the fact that everybody was so shocked at what they just saw, they were just frozen. They're like, oh. I love it. This, that was this, crazy. This movie shot so well. It was, yeah. Like it's beautiful looking, and the, I love that character, the main boss. Mm -hmm. Like so cool. But I love that scene, and I feel like it, it fits because these guys are so used to being bullies mm -hmm. that when someone comes out and just outright murders one of them <laughs> with a knife, <laughs> that they don't even know what to do. So they're just like, oh. Yeah. We're, we're the bad guys. You're not supposed to be the bad guy. And all of a sudden, they're just stuck, and he yeah. just... Especially not this old dude. Yeah. That was such a cool scene, though. This movie, uh, it's badass, dude. Yeah. Now that it I'm, was. Now that, it's good. Now that I'm re-watching, I'm like, it's so dope. At first, <laughs> it catches you by surprise, but now I'm like, this is so badass, well, Let's dude. keep getting into it. Let's get into <laughs> it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I know for a fact Abel can't post most of that, or, or <laughs> no, we're gonna get immediately all. demonetized. <laughs> but damn, yo, this guy is a bad ass. Dude, he's, that was crazy. That was so, so gory. He's so cool, bro. He shot you with your own gun through your toes. <laughs> Without even looking. Dude. He's like, I know right where your gun is. Chusu off say boom, nailed him. And then just blew that guy's heads off. That guy's head off. Like all meanwhile, always having his gold axe yeah. attached to his back. <laughs> dude, this movie's so sick, dude. I love how outlandish it is. Now that we're yeah. going back through, I love it. It's one of those you have to suspend reality a bit. Right. Like just go into it with an open mind. It's super entertaining. But we went into it with no background. We we're literally asking Tom, like, is this based on a true story? And yeah. Tom was like, I think so. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> we could have seen later. Yeah, and then I don't like, think it's a true story. We're like, all right, cool. It's based on a true story. And then all of a sudden, that all this started happening. I was like, <laughs> there's no <laughs> way. <laughs> All right, 
<laughs> this is the point of the movies, ladies and gentlemen, when you know that it's gone fully off the rails. It, I mean, he goes full Captain America on that. Suddenly he's got, like, Iron Man gave him the Captain America, like, vibranium. Yeah. And he's holding the vibranium. No one's hitting any of the legs. Nope, no, nope. everyone's going just right here. Just right here. <laughs> Where did he even get that from? What was the? He was he was sifting uh, the that's, gold. That's his gold. Yeah, sifting? it's like a bronze or <laughs> copper thing or tin. Aluminum it's not stopping. That ain't stopping crap. That's not stopping a nine damn. millimeter, let alone all they... <laughs> the rounds that they fired at him. He's just like tink 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 tink. tink. He's like, all right. Yeah, I, for me though, one of the coolest parts is when like clearly you just killed a man's horse. You messed up. You, <laughs> you, you messed, messed up. up big. And then he just takes the rocks and just starts pinging <laughs> uh, mines off the ground. Just like one hit, one, or one throw, one hit. Dude, knowing that that was your plan. He picked up the rock. Knowing yeah. his plan is like, bro, you got one shot. One opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is your chance you to You missed kill. that first one. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> it's game over. You missed? Dude, if that was me, bro, I would be like, <laughs> and that rock would be like, Pfft. And then it'll be like, like fire. Uh, and I'm like, da, 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 dead. Like, there's no way that I'm hitting a mine like this with a rock from like 15 feet. I can't even hit a beer pong. With a firing squad staring at you. Right. right there. Like, mind you guys, we just did content cabin where we rent a cabin. It's like this annual kind of boys trip that we do. Uh, I would say more than annual. <laughs> we, a boys trip where we rent a cabin, rent a house, and we go and we just hang out, party, talk business. Uh, and it gets ideas flowing for new content. Yeah. So we just did that recently, and we found out in our 30s, <laughs> maybe mid, <laughs> maybe later 30s, that beer pong's hard as It's a perishable skill. It's a perishable <laughs> skill. If you don't use it, you lose it, Bro, my friend. <laughs> I was like, I used to be good at this. Now, now watch me juke. I would used to stare at the back of the cup and be like, I'm going to sink it. As long as I stare at the back of the uh, cup, it's going in. I was banking all of them. It would be harder to miss as many shots as I did than it would be to just sink some in. <laughs> there were some of the longest games I've ever played. Ever played in my life. And so for this guy to just nail that in his <laughs> bing, 60s and bing, he's like, ping. Bing. And then somehow the explosion is coming down and then reigniting the new ones. Is that supposed to be the... I thought he was picking up new rocks. That's what I took ah, from you it. You thought the whole time he just picking He's like, oh, right grab a rock. Oh, <laughs> grab a rock. That's what I got out of that. <laughs> he's like playing a video game. <laughs> oh, that shit was hilarious. I love it. <laughs> he said, huh? Well, nobody even flinched. <laughs> oh, this shit. is the part that gets me. Everybody's like, no. <laughs> I'm so scared. Everybody's counting their time in service. <laughs> Tell me, wait, ah. Steve was here first, bro. Definitely Steve was here first. <laughs> first of all, sucks to be a private. Cause he, they're like all the privates, like shit. <laughs> and second of all, dude, he threw a mine at your face, bro. In the smoke, he dude, finds a mine, yeah. scoops it, and throws it yeah, that, like a clown throwing a pie. <laughs> and, just, and that thing just flips and hits you right in the face. Like as soon as it, by the time it gets to the mine scene, you're just like, all right, I'm on this ride. Yeah. Like I understand where we're going now, and I'm happy about it. But I love that they one up it yeah. by then turning the mines into a movable. Target, or <laughs> he threw a mine at your face. <laughs> that was the coolest <laughs> shit I've ever seen. Oh, I don't man. care what similarities there are from this movie to to other movies. Like no one's ever thrown a mine at someone's face before. <laughs> no, nope. that was money, dude. I love that. I love this character too, the officer, and he's just like never scared about. Shit. He's like, you go. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like it was game over, right? Like the it's it's been game over for this guy the whole time, right? But you're always like, this is what I love about this movie. He's you're always like, how? 
It's impossible to get out of this. Yeah. Impossible. Yeah. And then he figures out a way. He's yeah. like he's like a tactical MacGyver. I mean, it's cool, but it's also those trucks are so high. You're walking behind him. You're easily going to say like, oh, oh yeah. there he is. He's like, under the truck. What's that hanging from the truck? <laughs> But, I mean, it's You're cool. right. The, all our trucks, dude, they're, like, so far off the ground. Yeah. That, well, I mean, not fucking waste them, but they're so far off the ground. Anything hanging from is going to be super obvious. Exactly. And then just some guy, just, you're looking for a guy. <laughs> so some guy rolling in front of your truck <laughs> and rolling underneath it, you're not going to be like, whoa. Yeah. It's not like there you're is. on a regular patrol, like, just walking, like, spacing yeah. out. You're looking for a guy. Yeah. I mean, that would change your perspective a little bit. It's not like there's, like, trees or anything to obscure your vision. There's one truck. There's one truck on a road that, from all accounts, is uphill from you. (laughs) So (laughs) you're eye level with this dude. (laughs) Like, you think, like, hey, if I'm looking for one guy and he's got nowhere to hide anywhere (laughs) but that truck, I'm probably going to look at that truck. All right, but, again, too much reality. Yeah, suspend reality. It makes sense, though, right? He gets under the truck, and then he's like, hey, I'm going to mask my scent. What I didn't expect was to use the gasoline to mask your scent. You're right. That was clever. They didn't teach us that in Seer. They did not. (laughs) Not today, puppy. Finish it. Bro. Dude, my guy lights himself on fire. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Come on, my guy. He, he, I don't understand how hard it would be because you know the match, like the part that allows you to light it is at the tip. Well, they got the strike on anything matches, but I don't know if it's... Again, suspend mm-hmm. belief. We're not trying to pick this movie apart. It's dope as shit. Yeah. I don't care. I'm just then, s- speaking to speak. I would imagine point. that if you... Fully engulf yourself in flames, a dog would stop. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. It's just borderline somewhat believable so much (laughs) that you're like, all right. Yeah, (laughs) checks out. And you, you, at this point, the movie's so good that you just want to be there. So you don't really care. As long as it's just like something so dumb that it does, it would never happen. As long as I can kind of believe it, I'm in. Right. I mean, Fast and Furious 10 exists and people spent money to go see it. So yeah, that's uh, that's a different story. Yeah, that's a much that's, I love Fast and Furious, but that's a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? Well, hard pills to swallow. Let's get to the next part of this scene. Yeah, because it gets <laughs> even better. <laughs> this but scene's w- not over yet. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> there's, there's still more. more. Oof. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Okay, so he's stuck underwater. The guy, first of all, the German soldier jumps in to go get him. Full kit <laughs> doesn't take off his, his helmet, helmet his flick, his boots. Nothing. You're a uh, lead weight, my guy. Like <laughs> you're not straight to the bottom. You're not coming back up. You might as well be holding all that gold. <laughs> he comes up, swims behind him in crystal clear water. Again, don't care because it's so cool. <laughs> but then the part that I do kind of have a little trouble with is that he cuts him across the throat yep. and then sucks the air out of the throat hole. Yeah. All right. So, as a former <laughs> medic in the U.S. Army. I don't advise that technique. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's how anatomy works. Yeah, like, come on. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's some doctors out there that'll tell us we're wrong. They're like, yeah, that'll work. You but I it. think you're just winding up with a mouthful of blood. Yeah, a mouthful of blood and water. And that's, maybe that's a, nasty. That's, that's disgusting. And then maybe a couple uh, bubbles of air, but not enough to take a full breath. Not to, you can't, no, not to breathe. That's yeah. not gonna, that's so, what, that's so crazy, but. If I was an advisor on the scene, I'd be like, okay, this is what I think you should do. I think you should swim up, because first of all, super dope idea. I love the out-of-box thinking that they, they do in this movie. I would say swim up to his body, grab him by the mouth, stab him in the guts, and as he goes to 
swim around as he goes to like exhale and scream, you mouth to mouth and suck all his air out. You gave this scene more thought than I did. Yeah. Or more thought than they did. Because think <laughs> that about That makes sense. Yeah, it makes I, sense. I want his air. Because he's going to... Ah. Yeah, you could pass off air mouth to mouth underwater. Sure. And if I stab you, you're going to go, ah. So if I, that's why I think swim, instead of doing the throw slice, stab him in the gut, crumb around, and you're going to make out with that dude. Because <laughs> your life depends on your uh, on yeah. your willingness to play gay chicken. <laughs> like, listen, it's fine. I'm, I'm getting it, bro. I want every ounce of that oxygen. Give me all that, Give me all that, Stab, man. mouth to mouth. That would make more sense. I that, would that, that seems better. plausible. That's a bit excessive. Okay, so this one, again, this is like the uh, Captain America scene for me. Yeah. Where it's just like a hard no. Like, even if I try really hard to believe what you're selling, I can't. A Dushka is an anti-aircraft gun. Right. And you're trying to shoot it through the back of a person and not get to me? Bro, it would send through five or six people easily. Yeah, it's designed to shoot down aircraft. Yeah. Like it's it's going to go through a person. It's going to go through a person easily. There's no way he's going to take multiple repeated shots to the back and, and it, they're not going to punch through. It just disintegrates the guy in his <laughs> back and he's like, oh, my shield's gone. All right, now I'm on my own. Like It's like Call of Duty. Like You ran through your armor and now you're just... <laughs> you're just he starts getting off. hit and it's like everything goes red and he's breathing <laughs> heavy. <laughs> the veins start coming in his eyes. He's like, it's not good enough. Hey, guys, if uh, you're wondering, like, uh, why we get a lot of, especially me, like, we just talk and get a lot of things wrong, we don't look it up. <laughs> like, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. We don't use the old Google. You can sit there and Google and fact check us. I'm not using Google. We're in the moment. I'm in the moment. I want to send it. I want to enjoy the movie. Talk. And sometimes I'm going to get stuff wrong. So if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I'm not going to hit the the Google, just to make sure that everything I say is right. I don't you, think we're wrong about this, though. I don't think so. <laughs> but you know why we don't do that? It takes the fun out of it. It takes the fun out of it, and we just don't give a shit. <laughs> See you on the next one. No, I'm just kidding. We got more scenes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so. Mm. No! Got him with the single shot. Gotcha, bitch. Ooh. One shot, one kill. Okay, two things about this scene. One that came up only after the second time I watched it. What is it? Okay. It's it's one of the most impossible things in this movie. <laughs> Bro, have you ever been in the back of the LMTV? I know you have. <laughs> Remember that tarp? Yeah. Trying to throw that bitch up and have it stay? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, dude. I don't care how strong you are. You could be a linebacker for the Lions, bro. Like, there's no way you could flip a, a LMTV tarp up and have it stay up there. Not happening. That thing Not will fight a whole football team down. <laughs> I've never had so much struggle in my life than to try and think I could just flip an LMTV tarp up. It was like, huh, shapla. Hey, like, these chicks got to figure it out. Dude, they instantly just flipped that thing up and it stayed there. That is one aspect. That's like only something like army guys, military guys would know. So military right. guys, shout out. Remember the whole LMTV flip up? Not happening, bro. <laughs> Second is it was a really smart ambush. Like if mm -hmm. you're going to have all guns in one vehicle, how are you going to use them to take out as many people as possible? You don't want to shoot forward of you. Right. Right. So the best thing to do is like treat it like uh, old ships. Yeah. How did ships use from shooting out the side? They pulled up next to them and launched everything they Classic had from the side. cannons. Yeah, so it's crazy how tactics can always revert back to the oldest times possible, right. the most basic things possible. And that's what Green Berets do, master of the basics. Yep. We, figure out the, we figure out the basics and we try to hone in on them because as much as you can go ahead with all the, the equipment and surveillance and all this mumbo-jumbo, at the end of the day, real tactics come down to using simple stuff to the best, best of your ability. Yeah, I mean, they had everything. The whole speed, surprise, violence of action. Mm -hmm. They had it all. Yeah, surprise Except for, that for damn sure. Tarp. That guy was like... <laughs> I love how she was like, so... Hey, <laughs> Sa, dude. Like, oh, <laughs> Sa, dude. Sa, dude. And then she blasted him in the face. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like he had me looking around for parachutes, right? right? So I was like, where is he going to try to bail from? Yeah. Obviously, he's going to find a parachute. He's going to make an improbable jump. Right. An improbable jump would be out that bomb chute. I think you said when we were yeah. watching the bomb chute. Yeah, out the bomb chute. Because I don't... Honestly, Unlikely, I, but only way out. Yeah, it's the only way out. I don't know what, where else he would go to try and find a door while it's dive bombing maybe the hole that he punched in the floor to get in the plane. <laughs> he's like <"Nah." laughs> going back through <laughs> like ace ventura <laughs> <laughs> out the rhino <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like maybe but what does he do he straps, straps up in <laughs> and goes for the ride like my guy you think you're gonna survive a plane crash Bro, they just and not only a, a, all right so he didn't even like glide in like they're cooking like, it was like he re-entered Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, it was. Just like, whoa. And then the plane just disappears. So then the scene goes on for a minute, and I'm like, where's the plane? Where's <laughs> shrap Where's pieces of the plane? Where are the wings? Like, like, come on, guy, where's the plane? It goes into a marsh? The only, you know what, I'm not even going to try to justify it. I was about to say the only marsh in the area. Yeah. I don't give a damn if this is the middle of the ocean. It you go matter. in like that, you're <laughs> not going to survive. Rat, bro. It could like, be pillowy snow. It's not going to survive with that angle of attack that dude, they hit with. You could jump off like the the four story balcony into water. What is it? Four fifth story balcony. It starts to emulate the consistency of concrete. Yeah. Like you're, you're it dead. Hurts. You're yeah, done, son. Dead. And you're coming from thirty thousand feet, like <laughs> coming in hot. And all you did was had a, a couple of uh, uh, parachute straps. Damn, what are those? I got one in, right there. What is the, the um, 
like static a troop lines. Sta oh, Damn, static lines. Static yeah, lines. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're talking about wrapping yourself up in a couple. Of, first of all, you got your ass beat by a static line. <laughs> then you wrap yourself up in a static line and just going for the ride. Bro, and you're walking not away. The, the crazy part for me is like it's it's it reminds me of Master Shredder coming out of the rubble after the building yeah. in Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it's just like. Oh, okay, that was one of my favorite scenes ever. But he had awesome. ooze, bro. He did. He did have I mean, that's magical powers. At this that guy's point. got no ooze. Man. He's got no ooze. Yeah, I guess it's natural ooze. I don't yeah. know, but the like, fact that he just bro, when walks Shredder out of this. Shredder comes up and he pushes out and he's, <laughs> and he's all <laughs> sick. Dude. Great scene. We got oh, that wait, movie. And that one, he's already roided before because he's the one that smashes down the pillars. Yeah. It falls on him. He does this. It just shakes and then it falls. So you think he's dead? Oh, we digress. Sorry. <laughs> I love Ninja Turtles. So do I. All right, guys. Oof. Hope you enjoy the episode of Beers and Breakdowns. What a badass but crazy, unexpected movie. When you look at Sisu, when you look at the thumbnail, it looks like World War II, mm -hmm. normal, like, uh, you know, like, historical movie. You don't understand the, the ride and the emotional roller coaster that you have signed up for yeah. when you watch you this movie. Yeah, you have no idea what you're about to go down. <laughs> so, anyone involved in Sisu? Okay, we have to preface this. <laughs> if... <laughs> Because lately we've been, every time, it's not every time, but a lot of movies that we've done, when we give, okay, I should say this, when we give positive reviews. That's true. That's true. It gets back to It people. gets back to us. And the actors and the producers uh, and directors are actually hitting us back. Believe it or not. Actually, we did have one negative review. They got back to some people and they. Yeah, he hit us up. <laughs> It's banana stuff. It's so if, crazy. If you guys don't think that we're like mind blown when these guys hit us up, we're mind blown. Right. So if you did Sisu and you have anything to do with Sisu, just know we approve. This Reach one's out. dope. Let's Reach talk. out. Let's talk <laughs> about it. It's dope. But that being said, there's people in the industry that we sh we we wish we could be nice to, but they made movies that we absolutely cannot sign off on, and we're gonna destroy them on beers and breakdowns and i apologize in advance we're real because i cannot lie to you guys ever i'm not gonna do it i don't care if the dude's my best friend if he <laughs> makes a shitty movie it's a shitty movie and we're gonna say <laughs> it's a shitty movie so hope you guys enjoy see you guys next time and i know exactly what movie i'm talking about when i say that which one well, i don't want to say it in case abel leaves uh -oh. it in. you know which one because we looked up the guy and He's friends with oh. our circle. <laughs> He's very much going to listen to this review. From one of my favorite movies ever? Yes. Okay. Doesn't matter. He's not getting a pass because he's in one of your favorite movies.